So today, I also wanted to talk about a third gen um, Camaro IROC Z that went for $55,000 at an auction and why I think that's a good thing and a bad thing. So, backstory is it's an 89 Camaro IROC Z, Camaro IROC Z red, uh, 440 miles, super clean. You can eat off the bottom of it. Great car. Um, it went for $55,000, which is a lot of money. Um, especially, it's a lot of money for a third gen in the current environment. Right, where there is a similarly um, optioned car, also red, 87 IROC Z, um, also for sale, that is only bid up to $10,500, and it looks like it's kind of like floating at that price, right? It, it, it's probably going to go up in the next couple of days, but that seems to be almost it for this car. Um, now, this car in particular is... You know, so like I said, super clean, super low mileage. There's nothing really particularly that like sticks, stands out to me that makes it a $55,000 car. Other than the fact that I think this market is set to, you know, balloon up in price. And I've made a video about that, about which cars I think that will be. But I think this generation as a whole is ready to balloon in price. And the reason being is I think we're seeing the early stages of what we've seen the past decade with the first gens. So in the third gen example, you know, this guy, and I don't know this to be a fact, I'm just, this is just my opinion and I'm only guessing, but this is what I would think. So this guy was probably 16 years old in 1989. He'd always wanted a red IROC Z. Um, and at, you know, he was only 16 and couldn't afford it, right? So now he's in his late forties, he's got the disposable income, so now he's in a position to say, that's the car I've always wanted. I've been staring at that poster for, you know, the past however many years. I got to have that car right now. And that's what he did. It, he bid, he placed that bid and nobody outbid him. Uh, it was like on the second day or something. And that the auction ended. It was over as his, right? Whereas the other cars are kind of struggling. But that just happens to be the, the car that that guy's always wanted, right? So... I think we're entering that stage where those guys that couldn't afford it back then are finally in a position to pay whatever it costs to get his car he's always wanted, the, the poster car, the, you know, the cars that were on the wall when you were younger, or the car that your neighbor had because he could afford it, and you stared at that car forever and always wanted it. I think those guys are in a position right now to, um, to buy those cars. And we saw that on the first gens where those guys in 1969 couldn't afford the, you know, six and a half thousand dollars it, you know, it took to buy the baddest of the bad ZL1, Copo, you know, go down to the dealer and order a Yanko, whatever, right? So those cars are, those cars were, you know, getting astronomical in price and not to say that they still are, they're still very valuable cars. But I think that we are at the point where the third gen Camaro is going to be the next one in line. And that's not to say that the second gens got skipped over or anything. All I'm saying is that the way that the years are working out, the guys that wanted that red or, you know, the blue or the yellow, the ones that really stick out in your mind, the guys that wanted those IROC Zs and Z28s and, you know, the I think the Berlinettas are cool, Berlinettas, the, the Z0392, stuff like that, the, we're at a stage where those cars are going to start to pop. And, that, and some of those are the ones that I spoke about in the other video. Now, that's the good part. The bad part is, is what this is going to inevitably do is price out the lower budget enthusiasts, right? So the guys, <clears throat> the guys that were, are, are going to start paying the outrageous prices for these third gens they're enthusiasts. Don't get me wrong. I'm, I don't. I don't hate on them. I, you know, it's just that they're going to start pricing out the guy today that is, you know, nineteen, right, twenty. He's working decent job, getting through college. You know, you could argue whether it's a good idea or not, but wants a Camaro. The third gens are an easy one to get into for relatively low cost because. You know, they, they, not that they've had a bad rep, they just weren't, they just haven't been as popular, right? You know, they have, people have some sayings about them, and it's like, well, well you know, third gen is kind of the, the redneck of the group, right? <clears throat> so what, 
as the collectors start to pay attention to something, what you'll see is that the prices will go up and the kid that's working, you know, just a regular old night job to get through school or whatever, um, he's not going to be able to afford one pretty soon. So that's the bad part. The bad part is, is that the prices will eventually shoot up to the point that some people aren't going to be able to get them anymore or don't want to. Like, you know, I, I had a red 86 IROC <clears throat> and I love the car and I'm kind of one of those people that when I think IROC, I think red IROC Z with red interior. That's just what pops into my head. I love the blues, I love the whites, I love the yellow, but I think red on red IROC is like, that's the car for me, right? Now, I would love to get another one, and I like to think that I will get another one. However, if I run across a 1986 red on red IROC Z, because that's the one that I had, and that's the one that I would like to have again, and you know, it's $35,000, I'm not that guy. I, I, I don't, there are other cars that I would buy before that. Not to say that I wouldn't, you know, if I had that, kind, that you know, that um, inclination to buy it. Not to say that I wouldn't. I'm just saying that there's, there's other cars on the, on the wall that I would rather have first. That I could spend $35,000 on first. So... <clears throat> The, I think the days are going to start dry, are drying up where you go down to Joe Bob's car lot and you spot that, you know, diamond in the rough that, hey man, this guy's got a, a red IROC Z. He's only asking $4,500 for it. That's how I got mine. I stumbled on this random dealership and, you know, in the middle of outskirts of Dallas. He just happened to have a red on red IROC Z sitting in the back. I was like, dude, five grand? Yeah, let's do it that car is probably not going to be five grand in the next couple of years. It's probably going to be 15 grand, right? And, or these cars here are going up to all the way to 55. And this isn't the only one. There have been several in the past year, year and a half that have gone for 45 to 50. A couple of years ago, that would not have been the case. But like I said, I think we're entering that stage of these cars are going to start to balloon in price, right? Um, so that's my thought on that. I think it's awesome. These cars are finally getting the attention they deserve. Um, and like I said, I think it's a good thing. And it's also kind of a bad thing. So happy hunting. I hope you get an IROC Z or a Z03 or a 1LE or whatever third gen you're into. I hope you get one and get it fast before the prices explode. And none of us can afford one.